Hey guys, this is Aditya from the Trading Wolves uh, group for binary options and forex trading. So I hope you all are doing well. And uh, after uh, uh, taking a short break because we were having the year end and uh, uh, the group upgradation was uh, in place. So I have started my um, uh, trading sessions from uh, today and uh, from here onwards, uh, I'll be trading with the uh, new uh, update of the Zeus Arrow 7.0. Uh, I have already uh, shared a step-by-step -step breakdown video for our new update where you can uh, learn that what new features we, uh, we have included. Uh, and from today onwards, um, I'm going to trade. Uh, and uh, try to capture one or two live trades every day with detailed explanation so that uh, it will help uh, the members to capture the highest probability trades. Um, the live videos will be shared on uh, on every uh, 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 working days on all uh, uh, from Monday to Friday as I do not trade on uh, over the counter market. So uh, let's begin with and uh, the first thing first what we're going to do today is let's see that which currency pair we're going to choose uh, for trading. So first we're going to have a look on our overall uh, trend and as we can see here right now the overall trend uh, uh, the USD is uh, uh, getting stronger. Here we can see that uh, the CAD is uh, a strong uh, compared to the other currencies. On the lower time frame, uh, CAD is uh, stronger compared to the GBP. That means uh, on the GBP CAD, the CAD is uh, it's on a downtrend. Uh, as we speak, we can see here on the overall currency strengths, uh, the odd NZD is on a strong uptrend. The CAT CHF is on a, a strong uptrend. And here the GBP odd is on a downtrend and GBP CAD is on a downtrend. So let's move on our uh, trading template. And here we can see that what's going on on a lower time frame. So we can see that GBP USD and Euro USD uh, uh, presently is the uh, strongest trending uh, currency pair. So we're going to pick uh, GBP USD and Euro USD uh, and look for a uh, trading setup. So we are already on GBP USD here, uh, which is uh, right now uh, we can see that it is uh, on a uh, downtrend. And uh, so let's have a look. We need to wait uh, for a good uh, signal and uh, uh, a good uh, trading level. So here we can see that a breakout has happened. So we're going to wait for a retest of this level. So let's draw this level. So, okay. So for a GBP USD, this uh, will be our uh, trading level. Uh, let's uh, be on uh, Euro USD and see what's going on on Euro USD. Uh, okay, so Euro USD, we can see that uh, here we have a breakout. So uh, let's uh, draw the levels. Okay, it's important to uh, draw the trading levels before we start a trading. Now, while we wait for the setup to happen, uh, let's uh, move on our uh, trade manager. So here you can see that we have this trade manager template, which I have set on a $100 uh, uh, starting balance. And uh, the settings here are used so that uh, the amount will grow 100% um, on every 20 days. So the same settings have been provided to members as well. Here we're going to use 1.5% uh, risk on every trade and our daily target will be three uh, winnings. So after each uh, winning, we're going to uh, drag our growth meter. Uh, so as we are on the first day, so here we're going to start uh, waiting for uh, the uh, to take a first trade. Uh, the other thing that we have to keep in our mind, uh, the minimum payout has to be 80% uh, 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 to uh, achieve uh, this goal. Uh, I find this uh, uh, goal uh, uh, is far easier because I only have to look for three wins 
uh, daily and uh, that will be uh, compounding my ac account 100% on every uh, 20th day. So I do not want to take higher risk. I do not want to over trade. I don't. I do not want to uh, take too many trades because I, I I am focusing on the prime forex as well. Uh, but I love trading on binary, and uh, uh, which is why I'm following uh, this uh, trade manager tool, which is being provided with the package to all members. So okay, so today's target is like we're going to have a. Uh, on a hundred dollar account, we are uh, looking for a uh, 3.5 percent of gain on the first day. So right now, uh, let's wait uh, for a setup to happen. And once I uh, able to catch some trade, uh, then I'll uh, explain uh, it to you that why I took this trade. So let's wait. So here I took my uh, first trade. Uh, as you can see, I was waiting for the price to close uh, uh, in the zone that uh, I have drew. So let's wait for uh, this trade uh, to end, and then I will break it down to you that why I did this, why I took this trade.
so far it looks good let's uh, be on chart and let me explain this trade uh, to you okay so uh, as we can see that uh, we had this level here was a support so this level acted as a support here you can see that for uh, once this level here and then here so you can see that the level was acting as a support and then uh, we can see the breakout happened here towards the downtrend now after uh, the breakout when the price came back again retested here so we can see the rejection and we can see this red candle was the confirmation that this level uh, is now acting as a uh, resistance because as we all know when a support get broken uh, especially in a downtrend in a strong downtrend support becomes uh, resistance after breakout and on a strong uptrend uh, the resistance uh, turn out into a support so here we uh, see the breakout and then we were waiting and uh, for additional confirmation we can see the tmi and the nova trend both is confirming here that we have a seller pressure that means we are still having a strong downtrend moment momentum and then we received uh, the zero zero sell signal and this zone was our entry area so i took the trade here so I took the trade here inside this zone and uh, as you can see that we won this trade and uh, to simplify uh, uh, right now let me simplify this trade that uh, all we had to look for is the TMI and the uh, NOVA trend. The NOVA trend is always being my priority that I always consider the NOVA trend. If the NOVA trend is a uh, uh, uptrend or a downtrend it's always I give importance and the second thing which I look for uh, what the TMI TMI shows us was the major trend is going on the major trend momentum is going on so which is down as well we received uh, the trend signal with the Zeus arrow uh, which was for the sell here yeah now if uh, one more thing which is missing here is uh, the market sentiment as you can see the market sentiment uh, from this level of crossover it is showing that we are going up you can see the market uh, so here uh, it's true that market sentiment is uh, showing that uh, the price is going up but it is also on a overbought region so that is why i gave importance to tmi and nova trend and um, after that uh, my uh, the main uh, objective was to take a trade in support or resistance zone so when you are trading it is very important that if the tmi and nova trend is in a favor of your signal uh, then you have to make sure that you take entry inside a strong support or resistance that is uh, the most important part that's the mandatory part that where you taking your entry so if once you have been confirmed if your signal is backed by nova trend and tmi uh, the next uh, uh, which is as we can see that uh, as per our rules is which is one two three that means we uh, apply uh, three confirmations there are three stage rules on each trade which means we need at least two confirmation uh, which should uh, back your signal that means uh, uh, the NOVA trend and TMI the NOVA trend or market sentiment so uh, uh, either uh, two of these three or if three out of three is in your favor then that's great but uh, at least two out of these three has to be confirming your signal that we are trading with the trend and uh, the third which is uh, the most mandatory uh, rule is taking your entry in the level of support and resistance so in this case i took this trade uh, on this uh, uh, area which was acting as a support and after breakout now this level uh, is acting as a resistance 
so that was my breakdown for uh, this trade i hope i was able to explain you this sell trade uh, using the new zeus arrow 7.0 update i'm gonna come back with one trade uh, minimum uh, breakdown on every day uh, uh, that how i pick my pairs how i draw my zones and when and where i take my trades but there's one thing which i'm going to make sure that every trade that i'm going to take should be backed by our one two three trading rules which being shared in uh, uh, the vip area so that is all from uh, uh, today's video i hope you like it i hope i was able to uh, clear out your doubts if you still have any questions do feel free to uh, leave a comment or contact me uh, that is all from today bye bye